Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Before I go into today's topic, I will first of all thank my fans, my subscribers, my viewers, those are always sharing me out, giving me thumbs up. Anytime I make a video, you are always watch, always watch my video, supporting me. Thank you all. Today's topic is war gecko. I want to talk about war gecko. War gecko is an animal which everyone knows what is war gecko. We know war gecko is an animal which in the olden days our forefathers always said that war geckos guide our house. They, guide, they always guide our house to protect every evil, not to come to us. That's how what they believe then. But this time around, many people believe that war gecko is not good around us, around our house environment because of bad things that are always happening. Now many people are using them for so many things. And if you watch now, war gecko are not rampart at Odin day, the way it's rampart now. You hardly see it in your house. But now, you go to some houses, you see war gecko all everywhere. Which many people are against. Many people are against it, saying that it's always sent by evil people, bad people, that it's not good in our environment, in our houses. That is not good. Many people are against it. Some even saying that they use it to monitor some people. Use it to monitor us. That is how some people as I say you use it to me, which is true. If you watch the way uh, where geckos are everywhere now, you see that many people are using it to monitor uh, us, monitor us in our house, which is not good. So anytime you see war, war gecko around you, always coming around your house all the time, you know that it's not good. And some people that that new gave birth, some will just bet their baby, the newborn baby, and just pour the water outside the house, outside, just outside. And you see what we could go in that place that you throw the baby's the water. You see what we could go in around, and it's not good. That is why I always advise people anytime you bet your baby, if you have a washing um water system closet in your house, you pour the water inside there and flush it out. Flush it so that it will just go inside it. I'm sorry, my baby don't I'm sorry, my baby don't need to make this video, but I have to try and make a video. Make this video. So you have to flush the water inside your toilet and flush the water. For those that don't have water system toilet, you can find a, a better place, a protected place that you can throw the water away that all those bad animals will not be doing, especially this war gecko and lizard. It's not good for them to be passing around where you call this uh, newborn baby's water. So, and anytime you see war gecko you, or you want to protect war gecko for not coming coming around your house or environment, you can put mixed garlic and salt together. Put at every corners of your house. Put it at every corners of your house. It will also protect for protect all this uh, war gecko not entering or being around your house because they don't like the scent of all this. Uh, and garlic and salt so they don't like the scent especially that garlic they don't like it so you blend the garlic a little bit mix it with salt and put it at every corner of your house so i will stop here thank you for watching if you are new my channel subscribe to my channel give me thumbs up anytime i make a video thank you for watching bye for now